This new green book is a paperback version of our best-selling hardback. Many of the pages in the book have been updated with new information, and it's nice that it's new out today because this is a very special day for Blue Peter. This is the 2500 Blue Peter. Yeah, we think uh, Blue Peter is the longest running children's program anywhere in the world. It all began on October the 16th, 1958, with just one program a week, and became two programs a week in uh, 1965. And 2,500 programs later, here we are. <laughs> and in all that time, there have been 18 presenters, 17 pets, 29 appeals, 26 summer expeditions, 48 Blue Peter books, and 47 drawing competitions. <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't tell you how many letters we've had over the years, but we do get several thousands each week. And we've awarded hundreds of thousands of Blue Peter badges. To give you a comparison, there have been 260 Jim will fix it programmes, 227 generation games, 321 editions of a question of sport, 1,110 Tomorrow Worlds, 1,966 grandstands, but surprisingly, there have been 4,100 Jack and Nori, so I don't think we'll quite catch up with them. I wonder how many of those 18 presenters you or your parents or even your grandparents remember. Here's a reminder. In the beginning, there was Chris and Layla Williams. Layla didn't stay long. Then there was Chris and Valerie. They were joined by John, a different John. He came along when the program went from once to twice a week. Then Val and John were joined by Peter. They stayed together for a while, and here they are a few years later. Then along came Leslie. That made Leslie, John, Val and Pete. When Val left, John, Leslie and Pete carried on. And we've reached 1979 now and a bit of a changeover. Leslie's still there, joined by Chris and Simon. Then there was Simon, Tina and Chris. Quickly followed by Simon, Sarah and Peter. That's another Peter. <laughs> Sarah then left and the team was joined by Simon, and Peter and Janet. When Peter left, there was Simon, Janet and Michael. <laughs> Then Janet was joined by Peter, who'd come back by the stage, and Mark. Then there was Karen, Mark and Janet, and it's beginning to look a little bit familiar now, isn't it? Yep, and here's me, I joined Mark and Karen. And then I came along to join Karen and Yvette. Oh, don't you look young, which only <laughs> leaves me. And that brings us completely up to date. That's a bit dirty. enjoyed that lightning look back at the first two and a half thousand Blue Peters. We hope you've also enjoyed this season of the Blue Peter Omnibus. Unfortunately, this is the last one for a while, so don't forget to watch the live editions of the programme every Monday and Thursday. And talking of that, last Thursday, the studio was full of dummies.
<laughs> the men aren't out, uh, the men aren't bad looking either. This uh, handsome pair are expected to fetch between 150 and 250 pounds. In fact, the whole collection is going under the hammer on February the 12th at Sotheby's Country House Sale Room at Billingshurst in West Sussex. Let's hope they're not related to Doctor Who's enemies. Got there to watch. That's a reminder, it's about time we announce the winners of our Doctor Who competition. We asked the question, which actor most recently played Doctor Who? Now you might have said William Hartnell, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, Peter Davidson, Colin Baker or Tom Baker? Well, they've all played the Doctor, but you'd be wrong, because the answer is... Julia. You were letting off a lot of steam there, weren't you? <laughs> well, the answer, of course, is Sylvester McCoy. Now it's time to pull out ten time-travelling winners from the 6,740 correct answers, and uh, I've got a little mannequin here to help me. I'm here. Johnny. I'll move for you. <laughs> OK. Are we ready? Steve Ho. Here go, all they come. Oh, oh. All out. Woo. Every single one. Is That's that them all? All right, yeah, they're all out. <laughs> Now have a good deal. Oh, let's see, what's the first one? Get my hand right under here, pull one out, and it's... Well done, that's a ten. The lucky winners will be sent these wonderful video sets for instant Time Lord status. From interplanetary time travelling to a rather watery journey on the other side of this world, and news of a first for Britain. The violent waters of Cape Horn have been conquered by a woman in a canoe for the very first time. Before Rebecca Ridgway left on her epic journey, Blue Peter met her while she was training for the adventure of a lifetime. Spectacular hills and a dramatic lock. This beautiful place is 700 miles from television center near the most northerly